Highways and roads are critical for everyday life. Traffic jams, congestions, and truck overloading generates tremendous problems in our society. Well-maintained roads is key to growing our economy, which starts with having properly loaded vehicles in our roads. At Avery East African, weighing has been our core business for the last 46 years. We have partnered with local road agencies in East Africa in developing cost-effective yet reliable load control methods in our economies. Thanks to Kenya National Highways Authorities, we are now in the forefront of providing yet another technological advancement in axle load control through weigh-in motion system. The current proposed weigh-in motion system comprises of three key elements. First phase is a weigh-in motion that weighs trucks at a speed of 10 to 100 kilometers per hour. Second phase is a static multi-deck scale that weighs the whole truck once and gives the gross weight as well as axle group weight. Third phase is the bypass detector lanes. These detect any truck that declines to use the screening lane or turn to the multi-deck bridges. Note that if you are not overloaded, you do not have to stop at all. Whereas all three ton vehicles have to use the screening lane as indicated in the signage. Here is how it works. A truck diverts from the main road to the designated screening lane then runs through the loop sensors, which picks weight of each axle while classifying it. An ANPR cameras then picks the number plate and tags it to the weighing reading, while an overview camera captures the vehicle's image and relays it to Kenway system in real time. Weigh in motion electronics analyzes this information and sends it to the VMS display. Compliant vehicles continue on their way. Overweight vehicles are diverted to the weigh station. At the weigh scale, an operator can use the overview camera to pick it from the list of number plates. If the vehicle is confirmed not to be overloaded, an ANPR camera identifies and opens the barrier for it to leave. If overloaded, a ticket is issued for either redistribution, offloading, and or fine payment. This is then redirected to the holding yard. Once offloaded or weight redistributed, the truck drives through the static scale once more. Once compliant, the truck continues on its way. In case any truck decides not to use the screening lane or turn to the weight station on red sign, it is treated as overloaded and tagged. Overweight vehicle data is immediately sent to the static scale and any truck that doesn't appear in the static scale within a certain period of time is also tagged. And that, my friends, is how easy the process will be.